Hey, my good people. Welcome back to another episode of With the Light Butter. It's your girl, Ashley. And today we're going to make a pineapple upside down pound cake. Pound cake style, y'all. This recipe is going to be absolutely delicious. It's going to be definitely moist. Pound cakes can be relatively dense. But y'all, we put a little bit extra moisture in here because we knew we were making this pound cake style. And it's just going to be definitely moist, just like a regular pineapple upside down cake. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to show y'all how it's done. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off by mixing our baking powder and our salt in with our flour. So you can just use a fork for this or you can also use a whisk. I never sift my flour with my baking powder and my salt for whatever reason. I just like to mix it like that. Then we're going to add our sugar to our bowl and of course we're going to add our butter. So just pop your butter right in there using this paddle attachment and we're going to go ahead and blend that together. You want to blend this on low speed. Um, for about three minutes. You don't want to blend it too high because you don't want to add too much air and with your butter and your sugar. Okay, and when that's blended, we're going to go ahead and add our vanilla extract and then we're going to add our eggs one at a time. Alright, we're going to get this thing all nice, smooth, and creamy. So make sure you add them one at a time. As always, mixing well after each addition, your eggs and your butter should be at room temperature. All right, now when it's all velvety, silky like that, we're going to go ahead and start alternating our flour and our buttermilk mixture. Of course, we're going to always start with the flour and we're going to always end with our flour. The buttermilk should also be at room temperature. So just pour your buttermilk right in there. You can do like in thirds, um, something like that, like a cup of flour um, for each addition and then add your buttermilk. Um, but as long as you're starting and ending with the flour, then you're good. Okay, we get this all mixed, and then we're, of course, at the end, we're going to do a hand mix. We're um, not going to preheat our oven. This is cold oven pound cake style, so once we get our batter into our pan, we're going to put our, um, our cake in the oven, and then we're going to turn the oven on and start the cooking process. We're not going to preheat it, y'all. I like this method so much, I feel like it just causes a slow rise to the cake. Okay, so let's make our topping right here so we have some melted butter and then we also have some light brown sugar we're going to mix this together i wouldn't suggest you cook it on the stove we're not making caramel we are making like a we'll call it like a little slurry or something like that but just mix it together until um it's pretty pretty kind of combining like you see there then we're also going to spread the hell out that pan because you know we don't do any sticking over here and then we're going to go ahead and pour that into the bottom of our pan. It's going to create a nice little caramelized butter sauce um, on top of your cake along with your uh, pineapple. So you want to add like a splash, I would say, of pineapple juice. You can add, let's say, like two tablespoons. Um, give that little mix around. And then we're going to start with adding our pineapple rings. So you just arrange them in the bottom of your pan just like so. You can like, you know, stand them up. You can cut them in half and add them. Just like really add them however you want. But I wanted to add them in rings and then just place um, a nice little cherry in the middle of my ring like that. Okay. And of course you're going to have pineapple left over, but you want to get the bigger can, the 20 ounce can. You don't want to get the smaller can because then you're not going to have enough pineapples. And then we're going to plop our cherry right there in the middle. I can't say it. It starts with an M. Um, the cherries will be in the description box. But it's not just like any old fresh cherries. The cherries in the jar. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and pour our batter into our pan. And y'all, this is going to be a little, a little soupy. Just a little bit since we added that um, extra addition of the pineapple juice. And of course, we already had the butter mixture. Don't fret. All it does is add extra moisture into this cake. And y'all, it makes it so soft and spongy and whew, just delicious. All right, we're going to spread that thing all around. And then we're going to get ready to put this in the oven. And we're going to bake our cake for an hour and 15 minutes. Make sure that you check it. Um... And once the toothpick comes out of the center, it is clean, uh, it's ready to go. All right, we inverted our cake after letting it stand for 20 minutes, and y'all, it's good to go. We're going to cut a nice little slice, and then we're going to go ahead and get ready for the voiceover. All right, let me show y'all. Ooh, look at that cake. So nice, so moist, and look how it came out. 
Yes. All right. Y'all stay tuned. Taste test time. Y'all ready? Because I know I'm ready. Oh, let's go ahead and cut into this thing. Right, baby. Just the fork. Just gliding through this pound cake. Mmm. Absolutely moist. No, it's pink. It's definitely delicious. Let me get a piece of that pineapple. Moist through and through. Did I say moist? Child, this cake is moist. Y'all, this cake will knock y'all sauce off. Definitely a go-to recipe for the summer or any time of the year. But, you know, anything with pineapple is definitely fun in the summer. So, you know what I want y'all to do. Get in that description box. Grab this recipe. Don't be stingy. Make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and join us over here for more at With the Like Butter. Bye.